Hi guys, uh, welcome to another videos of uh, candlestick series. So last video we saw the basics of candles. Let's move on to the next video where we will understand about what does a body, long body, short body represent and what does uh, a longer wig and a shorter wig represents. So if you will see this candlestick, so this is also, so basically bullish means uh, market is going up, bearish means, bearish means market is going down. Bullish means the price uh, closed above the open and uh, bearish means the price closed below the open. So let's focus on these two bodies. See the, these two both candles, both the candles here are basically a bullish candle. Both are green that is uh, both opened here closed above, opened here closed above. However, these two candles represent different kind of sentiments of the market. This represents a stronger bullish market than this. Why? Because you can see the body of this candlestick is much bigger than this body. That simply means the price open here, went low till here, made a high till here and closed here. However, the difference between the open and close is really high. That means buyers were in control. That means compared to sellers, more number of buyers were in control and more people were expecting the price will go high and eventually it closed at a higher place. If you'll see this bullish candle, this also opened here, made a low till here, made a high till here, but eventually closed here. But you can see the body is not that quite convincing. The candle size is a bit small. That means even though it there was a bullish sentiment, that is the, there was a bullish sentiment in the market. However, it was not that high. That's the reason this candle body is comparatively smaller than this. Now, same goes for a bearish market. So the price to open here, close here. The price open here and again close here. However, this candlestick represents a much, uh, what you say, greater selling pressure than this candle. Why? In this, the seller were more aggressive than this candle. Why? Because you can see the difference between the open and close is really high compared to this candle. That means the sellers were in control and not the buyers and the sellers were dominating the buyers. That's the reason the open and close is at a, such a far place and <coughs> it was led by the sellers. Even in this candle, the sellers were in control. The price open here, close here, made a high, made a low here, but eventually closed here after opening here. But you can see the difference between open and close is not that high. That means both buyers and sellers were fighting. Uh, for the price but eventually the sellers won that's the reason the price closed below the open but the sentiment was not that high that means though it was a bearish candle though the price uh, closed below the open but it was not as bearish as this candle yeah so I hope you understand what does the body represent so simply means if the body is more long that means the sentiment was more strong. It can be a bullish sentiment or it can be a bearish sentiment. If the body is short, that means the sentiment was not that strong. So you can see from this photos of candlestick here. Now moving on. What about the wicks? So as I told you in my previous video, the wicks represent, you know, the overall uh, high and low of a candlestick. So that simply means this this was the high, this was the low, this was the open and this was the close. Similarly, in this candle, this was the open, this was the high, this was the low and this was the close. In this candle, what happened? The price opened here, made high all the way here, but eventually came down till here and closed here. This simply means the sellers were dominating this candle. How? Because see, the price opened here and made a high all the way till here, but it could not close here. It was closed all the way here. Why? Because sellers were dominating and eventually it became a bearish candle. So you can see, you can uh, make one conclusion out of this. Whenever you see a longer upper shadow and a shorter lower shadow, that simply means the sentiment is bearish. The sellers are more in control. <clears throat> Likewise, if you will see this candle, the price opened here, made a low all the way till here, but could not close here. 
but it eventually went high till here and it closed here even though it made a low till here but closed above here why because the buyers were in control the sentiment was bullish so basically the sellers tried to um, move the price all the way till here but buyers came in with much force and eventually took the price up till here and eventually settled here and closed the price here what you can uh, understand from this is that whenever the lower shadow is long compared to the upper shadow you can say the sentiment is bullish you can say the buyers are in control i hope uh, the introduction video along with this video made a, made you clearly understand you know how to see a candlestick body what is the difference between a body a wick a high low open close so from next video onwards we will be seeing a typical uh, different different kinds of candlesticks like doji hammer inside and all that yeah if you think that you like something about this video and you learned something please like the video and please subscribe to my channel yeah thank you for watching